nature's
Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him in whatever our hearts condemn. For God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God.
In other words, a miracle takes place because God intervenes and causes it to happen. Some would say God's world breaks into our world and the miracle occurs. In our gospel, Nathaniel declares that a miracle has happened. Nathaniel realizes that Jesus is the Son of God because a miracle was worked by the Lord. Nathaniel's miracle is that someone he has never met before, Jesus, has seen an event that took place in Nathaniel's past life. Something that took place under a fig tree. What the miracle, what the event was that Jesus saw, we don't know. But Nathaniel was the only one around when this event occurred. And yet and still, Jesus claims he witnessed it. But then Jesus tells Nathaniel and all of us. Are you impressed by this simple miracle? Are you impressed that God's world has broken into your world on this one simple occasion? Jesus says, you will see greater miracles than this. I will allow my Heavenly Father's world to break into your world every day, on a regular basis, every time you celebrate the Mass. Jesus says, when you celebrate the Mass, the sky will open, and angels of God will ascend and descend on a consecrated altar, and my body and blood will break upon you as the dawn from on high breaks upon the earth. The miracle of the Eucharist. God's flesh and blood will be present to you where previously there was just bread. There was just wine. This miracle, God's world breaking into your world, it will occur every day before your eyes. If you would only open your eyes to witness it. My friends, the Catholic Church gives thanks to God every day for the miracle that God gives us through Jesus Christ. celebrates God's world breaking into our world every day. What are we Catholics about in the celebration of the Mass? We are about celebrating the greatest miracle that Jesus Christ connects us directly to God's world every day. St. Nathaniel Help us to see the Eucharist as the miracle it is. Help us, Nathaniel, to see the sky open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Help us to give thanks that God works this miracle in our life. St. John Newman, pray for us. St. Mary the Assumption, St. Joseph. Pray for the vision that the Lord Jesus promised to St. Nathaniel that we would see.
heavens above open on our altar every day, and angels ascending and descending on our Lord in the celebration of the Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank God for all the Catholic Church for connecting our world to His through His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we, receiving this miracle of the Eucharist today, we make a spiritual community for our brothers and sisters, especially those who are sick. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord we, we pray that the miracle of these, these brothers and sisters witnessed so often here on earth, the miracle of the Eucharist, would now be theirs in heaven. We pray especially for the intention of this Mass, the repose of the soul of Mary Helen Lefelman. We pray also for the repose of Pope Benedict, Justin Corcoran, and Gid Paul. Eternal rest granted to them, O Lord, that perpetual love shine upon them. May they rest in peace. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let's pray, Hail Mary, for asking for Our Lady's intercession to help us see angels ascend and descend from heaven as her Son Jesus brings God's world into our world, that we might desire heaven more than the things of earth today. So we give in heaven at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Heavenly Father, we ask thee here to answer all these prayers and to grant them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Pray, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and my Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our glory of all this holy church. Merciful Father, look upon the gifts we have placed on your altar, and grant that we may reflect the image of Christ your Son, just as you granted to St. John Newman to imitate what he celebrated through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to bring and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and true God, through Christ our Lord. For through Him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor. But by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer petition through Jesus Christ, 
your son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you personally for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant your peace to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your son Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all those who hold into the truth and are the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, especially Steve and Pam Fromm, all the prisoners of St. Mary the Assumption Church was Brooklyn, especially we who mourn the passing of our beloved Pope Benedict, Justin Corcoran, and Gil Hall. similar way, when the summer was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. Once more, in the events, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of
Grant them, Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, and those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Artemis, and all your sins. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not laying out our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, with whom we continue to make all these good things, O oh Lord, we sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Everyone who has given up home, brothers or sisters, father or mother, wife or children, or property for my sake, will receive many times as much in error and spirit, life and last. Now prayer spiritual me for question for our beloved head. We can't receive the sacrament physically, so we ask that they be able to receive these graces spiritually, especially for Benedict at this funeral mass day. Mary Helen Knuckleman, Justin Corcoran, Gilbert Hall, and all who we wish to see now. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you with all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since other people dear to me cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come as a spiritually into their hearts, as though you were already in our hearts. Help us to embrace you and unite ourselves wholly with you. Permit not that we should ever be separated from you.
Christ. Now we'll pray a prayer of gratitude. My Jesus, I love and adore you. You'll come to me. I am you. I want you to remain with me forever, in this life and in the next. Thank you for allowing me to share your divine life and to become more like you through this sacred room. Let me never take you for granted, but always pray for those whose lives are dark, with sin, ignorance, and selfishness. Let me remember the words of St. Paul, that there for the grace of God go I. Each day I can become more like you, O Lord. Each day I can pray for those who have never heard of your presence in the universe, or who have heard it and rejected it. Let's pray. Refreshed by our participation in the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, we ask the Lord that by the example of St. John Newman, we may experience the power of this sacrament and remain constantly in the church by the bond of unity and truth and love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we keep the tradition of praying for the nine days following the Holy Father's death, of the prayers of our Father, Holy Mary, and Lord be, especially on this Christian Holy Mass. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and our heart. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was at the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Eternal rest grant to him, O Lord, that the perpetual life of him may he rest in peace. May Pope Benedict's soul and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. I'll remind you, uh, we have a special Mass on Saturday uh, at Sublette, I think, at the Church. It's 11 o'clock on uh, Saturday morning. It's our Blue Christmas Mass. We celebrate especially uh, all the souls that we've lost from our three parishes uh, since last Christmas. We experienced this first Christmas season without them, so we have a special Mass where we invite them to join us at the altar of God in the celebration of the Eucharist. Because they 
body of Christ together that is all together as one. The Lord be with you. Now bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your Catholic people of West Brooklyn exalt, O Lord, the glorification of themselves as they have received your Son's body and blood. May they gain a share in the eternal life of all the saints, and especially the feast day saint of today, St. John Newman. May they reaffirm their devotion to you. Rejoice with St. John Newman forever in your glory. We ask this blessing in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to you. St. Michael the Archangel, and this is our be our protection against the wickedness and snares of God. May God be with you and humbly pray to thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, all the evil spirits.